Well, hello friends, welcome back to the channel. I am Cher. Today, we're gonna be doing a full try on video of all the goodies that we got in the Ipsy boxes for March, 2024. If you haven't checked out the full unboxing video, go check it out. I will link it here for you. Um, but I really like to follow up behind the unboxings and then do a full try on, especially for Ipsy. Um, I've been kind of doing it for a lot of the boxes, the beauty boxes or hauls that I do. Um, but I see the most interest on it for Ipsy, and I think that it's so helpful because if I can get this to you guys before your choice day, especially for BoxyCharm, it just helps because you're able to see somebody trying it all on, give their review on it, see how the colors work, how, you know, the palettes work, all of that, and it just really helps you with your choice process. So that's what we're going to focus on today. I have my bare face, other than my eyes prepped so that we can try on all the skincare and the makeup. We're going to create one big makeup look, and actually we're gonna create a second look with just the little quad from Ipsy Glam Bag. We're gonna use the Wander Beauty Palette from BoxyCharm um, for our main look for everything else, and try all the skincare as well as hair and makeup. So if that interests you, stick around and we're gonna hop right on in. All right guys, so I've got five non-makeup uh, products, and then I've got five makeup products, all right? So we're gonna get started with the non-makeup, and I'm just gonna go in the order I would normally do it in. The first thing I'm gonna do is try to figure out this little hair product. This is Do the Gods Amalfi. It's uh, olive and argan oil, so it's a hair serum. Let me get my glasses. When you get old, you can't read anything. <laughs> um, and so it says that we're gonna apply three to six drops to damp or dry hair in the morning or a higher volume at night as an overnight hair mask. And make sure we wash the scalp regularly to avoid buildup. So um, thank you to, my, to the person who commented and let me know there is a dropper with this. I don't know how I overlooked that. Again, I'm gonna blame it on the old age. <laughs> my brain just doesn't brain sometimes. Um, I was really struggling with how the product works. I think, okay, so this is much better. I can dip it right into the serum and I am going to put this in my hair, even though, so this is dry, but it's in the morning. I'm gonna do it kind of more towards the ends because I think that's where you know, these hair oils are needed most is like on our ends with our split ends. And I prefer not having them along the scalp too much because then it gets oily and that's where all the oils are anyways along my scalp line. It's very nice. So it's just, it's a hair serum. I guess over time, you know, it's going to do some masking. Oh, it smells amazing. Oh my gosh. I love that. Like, I might wear it just for the smell. And I love the theme of this, guys. It's like, here, I'm going to squirt this into my hand and then spread it into my hair. So then it doesn't get concentrated into one place. You know what I mean? Very nice. Um, so I love the packaging on it. It's got that, you know, Italian Amalfi Coast feel. And I am really happy to have this now. I think mostly for the smell. <laughs> But it feels good. It's not like too greasy and oily. I think just disperse it as well as you can. Oh, love the smell. And I love that my hair is going to smell so good. Mm, love it. Sometimes I go for products just for the smell. <laughs> but I think it'll be a good product for the hair too. Okay. Then we're going to try out the Galactic. I'm very excited about this. Um, the Fruit Superfood Sugar Face Scrub. It's hard to do this on camera because I would normally do it in the bathroom. It gets messy, but I will try. So um, apply the Fruit Superfood on your face in light upward and outward circles to clean or damp the skin. Then rinse well with warm water. So I'll go ahead and put it on. I'm going to take my rings off, guys, for these messy parts. And let's see how it goes on the face. So they said upward circles. Love it. It's like fruity. Oh my goodness. Yes, it's very, so what I'm loving about it is, you know, with a lot of scrubs, they're very harsh. You know, you feel like almost like a dry, you know, dryness on the skin. 
not this. This is very moisturizing while it's scrubbing. So it's like, it's giving this like juice, like it's like I'm putting jelly with sugar in it almost on my skin. Doesn't that look fun? Oh my goodness, I love it. So the smell, um, it's, you know, I smell like, I think the strawberry in it. So nice. I just love this. It's, it just feels so like pampering and I don't know. I wanted this one. So very excited. This is so cool. All right. I'm gonna let it sit for a few minutes, like it said, and then we will wash it off and I'll report back to you in a moment. Quick while I'm waiting, I did just want to show you on this Do of the Gods. You can just leave the dropper in it and let that be the lid. Or you can go back to this one. I think I'm just going to leave the dropper in it so I don't lose the dropper. But that's awesome. I love that both can fit on here. All right. So I've washed it off now. Um, it didn't really like harden up or anything like that. It just, you know, you wipe it off. Face feels kind of tight. Yeah. That was very neat. Now, I made a mistake with putting makeup on my eyes. I don't know why I did that. I had to wash them off now because there is an eye cream coming. And washing that off messed up my brows. So, whatever. Okay. Um, now, for the moment of truth, I've been dying to try this Biro. If you guys have followed me, you'll know I'm so excited about this. This is the Tea Time Apple Matcha Tea. So, we're going to try this toner. Okay. And it is, you know, kind of runny. You know, it said kind of gently pat on the face, so. And into my neck. Oh, I still had some sugar left in there. Especially on the face. It feels so nice. It feels like a really soothing toner. So the toner I've been using recently is the Murad, and it's almost a little, I don't want to say harsh, but it just... I don't want to say it stings, but it kind of does. This is more very soothing going on. Do we notice any tightening of pores? My face is a hot mess right now. I am so, you can really see all my spots a lot right, right now. So it feels really good. Definitely. So I'm excited to keep trying it. And then I already know I love my Tatcha, but we'll go ahead and open some up and apply the dewy skin cream. It's kind of purple tinted. Oh, you can't beat Tatcha and I love the smell. Oh my gosh. I mean, it's just, I think Tatcha is my favorite moisturizer of all time, all time. Like, oh my goodness. It just feels so good. Like it's like the way that it melts into your skin it's like you barely even have to apply it. It just morphs into the skin so well, but I feel like it's firming, but it's not heavy either at the same time. It's just, I love my Tatcha. <laughs> and then last, um, I've already done the Elemis before too, but we'll do some more. I'm always happy for Elemis. The Peptide 4 Eye Recovery Cream. It's just, it's a very firming eye cream. I do like to apply eye creams with my ring finger as much as I can, just so I'm not like tugging on my eyes too much. Yep, but very nice and firming. So very nice, great skincare lineup. I feel like I got a little bit of everything. We had a little like exfoliate or physically exfoliating scrub, some toner, moisturizer, eye cream. The only thing we were missing was like a cleanser, but the, the scrub kind of did that too. And we had hair. So I kind of had most of the steps of the skincare process. My skin already looks better. It looks very hydrated and refreshed. And now we can move on to the makeup. I'm going to redo my eyes and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Redid the brows and all. Um, well, let's get into it. So we're going to work with the Wonder Beauty palette. Ah! Okay, so before I start with the Wonder Beauty palette, which I'm so excited about, and do a full makeup look with this one, I'm going to go ahead and insert in here the shades by Sean Eyeshadow Quad first, so you can take a peek at how it looked. I wore this yesterday, 
it was amazing. You might have seen it um, where I posted in my community tab about it already. I posted my look there, but I am going to put this part in there so you can see kind of how I created the look. This was the Ipsy Glam Bag one, and I love it. I think I'm just going to do the pink. Um, you know the drill. We're just going to go on the transition with the pink, and let's see how she does. Not bad. That is such a pretty pink, like mauvey color. Okay, and then I'm gonna do a little bit smaller, fluffier one. I'm gonna do that darker color, which almost has a hint of shimmer and matte in it, but I am gonna use it more on the corner, just for the darker part, the 3D effect on the outer edge. Going in with sort of a V. And I will come in with, it's not really a packing brush. I just need to clean brushes right now. It's more angled, but it's going to have to work. I'm going to try this one, but I remember from the swatches that it was very light on me and not showing up a lot. But we can put it down as the base. Just kind of pack that on. And then for the fun part, the sparkle. So this is the part that has me most excited. I'm taking the same brush and just packing it on. Ooh, so pretty. Yes. Yeah, so not bad. I'm gonna do my finger a little bit. Just to really get it in there. I'm also going to put just a dab under the eyes of the darker color. This one right here is what I'm doing. This brush is actually perfect for that. All right, I'm going to finish the face, figure out a lip to wear with it or something, and I will be right back and we'll see how it looks. All right, guys, here it is. I actually do not have lashes on, and I think that's okay because it's just so pretty. I don't even feel like I need lashes with this. So here is our finished look. And I love this palette. I think this is so adorable. And it makes the perfect look. Uh, you want that pinky, purpley, lavendery, like glammy look. Um, but your other colors are in there that could be neutral matte if you want to just leave the shimmer alone. And it's in a quad, so it's so easy for travel, portability. It could be just like a go-to here in my little makeup drawer. So I love this. And again, I still have not been disappointed by Shades by Sean. I really like this brand that um, shows up in our Ipsy a lot. So yeah, very impressed. Let's get started with the Wander Beauty palette. I am dying to work with this. I've already done swatches on this in my unboxing. So if you want to see the full swatches and all of your color options, go check that out. I'm going to skip that now since I already did it before, but what I'm really dying to play with are like the greens and like the pink for sure. So I was leaning towards, I think what I'm going to try to do, I'm envisioning almost like a halo eye. Y'all are like, you're always doing halo eyes. It's not really a full halo eye, but like kind of like a halo eye. I'm going to go in with Mandy. And it's kind of a brownie but leaning towards uh, a little rosy, and not rosy, but yeah, mauvey, mauvey brownie is the best way to know how to describe this. I'm going to go ahead and apply it kind of all around, and this is going to be the beginning of a halo eye. It's messy at the moment. I'm trying to give you an idea of how it's blending. Um, I'm going to use this, the actual mirror in the palette, because I can't see. Okay, that's better. That's actually blending well, the matte in it. Okay. The next thing I want to do is I want to play with this pink sparkle right here. I, that's the first one that screams to me. Mackenzie is the name. I'm going to make it part of the halo around. It's not really a halo. What's the part that's centering around. Let me look in my mirror here to do it. Okay, so like I'm gonna come tap this into here. Okay, and then I'm gonna do another one like around this side too, along the edges. 
beautiful. Can you see what I'm doing? All right, we have, yeah, trust process. Um, I'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye and then I'm gonna tell you where we're going with this in a minute. All right, here we are so far. The shimmer is, it's okay. Um, it might, it, I'd struggled to blend it out a little bit more, um, but it's so pretty that I just, I don't even mind. All right, never have clean brushes. I always have a million brushes to clean. Okay. I'm gonna come in with that green right there. This is Lindsay E. And we are gonna pop that right here in the middle. Let me do it in my mirror where I can see. And that's kind of where I'm going with it. Look at that. Ultra like earthy, springy. Some of you guys described it as like spring garden. You know, the budding grass, planting your pink flowers in there. Love it. I think it's very beautiful, like new earth spring. Um, what else do we want? Let's see. Do I want this one or that one? Let's try the lighter one. This is Alex. A-L-Y-X. So these all have like people's names. So I'm wondering who it's named after. And I'm just gonna put little tiny pop right here in the corner. Turn it up into there. Okay, cool. So, and then, um, I'm gonna bring a little bit underneath too to balance it out. Even do a touch of the green in the middle too here. Yeah, I like that. So I'm going to throw on all the things that I did not get gifted in Ipsy, like eyeliner, mascara. Oh my gosh, I didn't get any mascara this time. I can't believe it. I always get mascara from Ipsy. Maybe they listened to me and knew I don't need any more mascara. All right, so anyway, I'm gonna put on eyeliner, mascara, foundation, bronze, blush, concealer, all that jazz, and meet you back here. It looks like we just have lips and setting spray. So I'll be right back. All right, we are back. And now we're gonna move on to the lips. Um, I still cannot pronounce this. Elamon, oh, I think I said it wrong on my, yeah. Elamon, is that how y'all read that? I don't know much about the brand, but Elamon, so sophisticated lip liner. So we're gonna go ahead and try it out. It's almost the natural color of my lip line anyway. blend that up into my mouth a little more. Um, I'd say it's okay, like glide-wise. Um, definitely better than say like NYX lip liners, but I still don't think it's as good as MAC or LA Girl, some of my favorite, or Anastasia Beverly Hills. So those are some of my favorite lip liners, but it's pretty good. And then last we have, not last, but then we have the uh, TYS Beauty Lip Gloss. I don't know if we ever found out the shade on this, but it's like a light pink. Mm. Oh my gosh, that is so moisturizing. Oh, okay, that is more like a lip oil to me than a lip gloss. That's amazing. Shea butter lip gloss. Oh, I love that. Yeah. That's the best gloss I think I've ever tried. I mean, it's more like um, an oil in feel. So, yes, I love that. Gosh, I didn't, I, I wasn't familiar with it, but boy, am I glad I got it now. All right, so I think I'm going to pop some lashes on. Do I want to fix anything? I don't know. Maybe I should bring a little more pink over it. I don't know. What do y'all think? 
so it's not too much green. Like I wanted a pop of the green and I might should have put down like some concealer or something under it first to make it pop a little more, but I don't know. How do we feel about that? It's still very pretty, like all a big shimmer, pretty, all shimmering together, you know? All right, let me throw on maybe some lashes and take down my hair. I'll be right back. Okay. You know what, guys? I'm not sure I'm even going to do lashes. I think that it's pretty without them. Like, I don't feel like we need the lashes too much. I just feel like it's, you know, earthy and springy and pretty. And the lashes are almost going to take away from it. Like, the naturalness, I think. I think this kind of speaks for itself. So, yeah, I like it. I mean, it almost came out a little more brown and, like, neutrally natural than I was envisioning. I was envisioning, like, really pink and really popping green. Um, the colors definitely don't make that like really ultra pigmented of colors, but I think that's partly what makes it so pretty too, is it's a very subtle shimmer that I just think is going to be so pretty for your everyday wear that's giving you a gorgeous, either earthy, or you could have gone, you know, we could have stuck to more of the pink without that green in there. Um... And it probably would have come out a little more pink. I think overall, though, because of your colors in here, you don't have a lot of, like, pink mattes. So it's that one, like, pink shimmer. So you're not going to get an ultra, like, pink look out of this. You're going to get a pretty, like, neutrally look with a pop of pink or pop of, like, brighter, lighter colors and golds. Or you're going to go with, like, all light shimmering green here but it's still going to be fairly subtle, I think. So, um, yeah, so it is definitely earthy. So I think that you guys who all said earthy spring garden nailed it. So very pretty. Um, overall love it. Uh, this lip gloss is bomb. I mean, it almost feels to me like it's more like a lip oil y'all. It is amazing. Like it's not like a sticky gloss, you know, it's like, this is amazing. <laughs> I love it. The lip line was pretty good. I love the color. It's actually a perfect color. I think it'll work for me pretty well. I love the shade by Sean's palette too. So cute. Oh my gosh, we didn't spray our setting spray. That's the last thing, isn't it? Hold on a minute. Oh my God, and I love that smell, y'all. I just love that smell. Um, it's gonna be hard to test for you how the setting spray does unless I wear it like all day and come back and report. Um, I, it's hydrating. I can feel it starting to set in, but the smell is just out of this world. Love the smell. Ah, so love that. It's mango and coconut. So it definitely has a coconutty smell. Yeah, it's not as, um, intense. It's like when you first spray it after that, you don't smell it anymore. Um, but yeah, so I guess we'll see how that does. Um, yeah, so I really, this was, these were stellar boxes for me this month. I loved, loved my boxes. It was really good. You know, a few things that I didn't get that I did want. I wanted Glow Recipe. I didn't get any, and I wanted the LMS Marine Cream, um, and I wanted the concealers, but it was just so many good things to choose from that they almost couldn't go wrong this month for me. And they really nailed it. And I'm so glad I got these palettes because they're so pretty. Um, so yeah, that's everything for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope that your choice day goes really well with BoxyCharm and any add-ons you want. Let me know how it goes and what you're gunning for, especially after watching the try-ons. Um, yeah, keep me posted and happy shopping and make sure that you stay tuned for the next few beauty boxes and spoilers and all of that. I do a lot of beauty boxes here on the channel, spoilers, unboxings, and try-ons, and we do a lot of other fun stuff too. So you'll want to stick around, pop that subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. <laughs> Bye.